Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Many of you will know that on Friday I opened my new website www.prestigereef.co.uk to sell coral frags and already it's exceeded my expectations with the response from you guys. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's purchased corals so far as it's a great way to support the channel and in return you get a little piece of prestige for yourself. Well today I'm going to show you some of the newest pieces of my collection which arrived last week. This story starts over a month ago when I contacted Fauna Marin's coral farm in Germany looking for bounce mushrooms. Having seen the hype that they received at Reef of Palooza in America, where these mushrooms change hands for thousands of dollars, I wanted to get some for myself. Many of you will know that I'm a big advocate for investing in corals, and providing you have the knowledge to keep them alive, some of them are literally like growing money. Unlike fish, which are essentially a black hole for our wallets, for me, corals have been an incredibly good investment over the years, and if you pick the right ones, they pay for themselves 50 times over eventually. Bounce mushrooms are a good example of this, as they are hardy, in demand, sell for a high value and easy to propagate. What more could I want? The UK is always a couple of years behind America with regards to coral crazes, so I know that eventually they will be massive over here, and I want to get in early. The biggest problem we have though is sourcing them. Fortunately, being a YouTuber has its perks, and over the years I've developed a good relationship with almost every part of the industry. Unfortunately, Fauna Marin didn't have the specific mushrooms I was looking for, however the head of their coral farm kindly pointed me in the direction of another coral farm in Austria called Alpenriff. Hopefully I didn't just butcher its name. Luckily for me, this farm did have the mushrooms I was looking for, kindly agreed to frag them and send them over to me. Therefore in this box are my first corals from Austria. Being so rare in Europe at the moment, these corals come with a high value, and there was a slight concern at one point as UPS appeared to be leaving it to the very last minute to deliver the package. What I will say though, is the owner kept in contact with me every step of the way and assured me that if anything happened there wouldn't be any issues. At this moment in time, anyone in the UK can order corals from mainland Europe, however there are two slight downsides. Obviously, the first one is the distance travelled, and slightly extended time in the bag and the second is the cost of shipping, which is about £65. Having said that, I've done this many times over the years and only twice was there an issue. Fortunately, these corals arrived unscathed and only appeared to be showing minor signs of stress. They were clearly well packaged and the heat pack was still warm when it arrived. The first thing I like to do with any new mushrooms is acclimate them to the parameters of the aquarium water. I removed them all from the bags and then placed them in a separate container and gradually added water from the main tank. Be sure to keep an eye on the temperature so that it doesn't fall too low. As you can see in this clip, each of the corals was secured to a piece of polystyrene, which is a clever idea as it floats and keeps the corals from ever touching the sides during shipping. This is something which I plan to look into myself for shipping out my own corals. I usually only acclimate corals for approximately 30 minutes when they've travelled such a long way, as I feel it's better to get them dipped and in the tank as quickly as possible. While acclimating the corals, my two-year-old niece decided to come over to investigate what I was doing. What is it? What's what? What is that? And what are these? Oh, coral. Do you like coral? Yeah. Well, that's good, then, isn't it? Once acclimation is complete, I then got some new water out of the tank to dip them in. The product I've used for a long time is called Coral RX and has served me well over the years. I have a very strict policy regarding pests. If even one is discovered during this process, the coral doesn't go into my main display tank. It's just not worth the hassle. This method has served me well over the last 11 years, and I've never had a single Aptasia in my system. So let's look at the corals I got. The first one is a kryptonite discosoma mushroom. This isn't a bounce mushroom and is actually a very bad investment, but I couldn't resist. These can't be fragged easily, however I'm only human and we all have our weaknesses. This is a Frankenstein bounce mushroom, which I'm almost certain is one of the very very few in the country. This is a green redactus colony with pink skirts and white bubbles, 
and the final coral is a grumpy looking OG bounce mushroom. As always, each of these was purchased with money made from selling other corals. Years ago, I started with a coral fund of £100 and purchased 10 very basic corals. I then grew, fragged, sold and traded those for more corals, which replaced the original fund. After that, I used that bigger fund to reinvest in more popular corals and have continued to repeat this process until today. This is what I like to call guilt-free spending, where I now have over 150 different variations, and in theory it hasn't cost me any more than that original £100 investment. Having said that, it has taken 11 years, and with a bigger investment you could get to this stage much quicker. As I said, as long as you buy the right corals, at the right time, and you're experienced enough not to kill them, they really can be a good investment. Once the dip has been completed, there is one final precaution which I like to take. All corals entering my system have their frag plugs removed, and are then re-glued onto new ones. This again is to reduce the chance of anything unwanted entering my system. The corals have now been in my tank for a couple of weeks, and are rapidly growing. This is what they look like now. In the next few months, these will be fragged and available to purchase from my website. I hope you enjoy watching my video. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. Have a good week and I'll see you next time. As always, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel on Patreon. Never underestimate the value of what you do with regards to keeping this channel going. You've all been brilliant. Thank you.